Hello everyone, this is Mamta Mond and today we are going to solve some Mathematics Olympiad questions from the book Mathematics Olympiad Workbook of Class 6 SOF IMO International Mathematics Olympiad. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for getting notifications of future videos and please visit my blog massgrad.com for more information regarding the textbook solutions of CBSE, ICSC and other state board. And if you like this video, then please click the like button. Let's get started and solve some Mathematics Olympiad questions from the book Mathematics Olympiad Workbook MTG of Class 6 SOF IMO International Mathematics Olympiad. Today we will solve some mathematical reasoning questions from the chapter 2. Chapter name is Whole Numbers of Mathematics Olympiad questions. Of, um, from the book Mathematics Olympiad Workbook of SOF IOMO of Class 6. Let's solve some whole numbers mathematical reasoning questions from the chapter whole numbers of math from the book Mathematical Olympiad Workbook. Now question number 1. The number 144 can be represented by 12 multiplied with 12 square grid which of the following can also be represented on a square grid? These options are given. We know 144 is 12 multiplied with 12. So here uh, 39 is not a square, perfect square. 50 is also not a perfect square. 70 uh, is also not a perfect square. 81. 81 is 9 multiplied with 9. This is a perfect square. So 81 is the answer. So option D 81 is the correct option. So the 81 represented on a square grid. The number 144 can be represented by 12 multiplied with 12 square grid. So 81 can also be represented on a square grid. So option D 81 is the correct option. Now question number 2. The property satisfied by the division of whole number is dash. Closure property, commutative property, associative property, none of these. The property satisfied by the whole division of whole number. Division of whole number is none of these. So option D is the correct option. Division of whole number, 1 divided by 0. So none of these. Now question number 3, 25 multiplied is 22, multiplied is 25 is equal to 25 multiplied is 22, multiplied with, multiplied with 25 is an example of dash property, closure property, commutative property, associative property or distributive property. This is the associative property, 25 multiplied is 22, this, uh, this is inside the bracket, parenthesis, multiplied with 25 is equal to 25 multiplied with 22 multiplied with 25 is inside the parenthesis. This is the example of associative property. So option C, associative property is the correct option. Now question number 4, the closure property is satisfied in whole numbers with respect to dash and dash. Closure property is satisfied in whole number with respect to addition and multiplication. So option C, addition and multiplication are the correct option. So option C, addition and multiplication is the correct option. Now question number 5, which of the following statement is not true, not true, that is false. First option A, every whole number has a successor. Every whole number has a successor, this is true. 0, 0 has a successor, that is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. Then second bit B is uh, second option is every whole number has a predecessor. Every whole number 0 has a 0 is not predecessor. That is 0 predecessor of 0 is 0 minus 1. Minus 1 is a, not a whole number. This is a negative integer. So every whole number has a predecessor. This is false. Now option C. Uh, 0 is the least whole number. This is true. 0 is the smallest whole number. So, option D. Every natural number is a whole number. Every natural number. Yes. 1. Starting with 1, 2, 3. 
these are natural number these are all are whole numbers so option b option b is not true this is false every whole number has a predecessor this is not true this is false Now question number six. Every natural number is the successor of dash number. Every natural number is the successor of whole number. Zero. Zero natural. Every natural number is the successor of whole number. Zero. If zero successor of zero is zero plus one, one. One is a natural number. One is a whole number. So every natural number is the successor of whole number. Now question number seven. If a and b are two whole numbers, then commutative law is applicable on subtraction. If and only if a is equal to b. So option A, that is a equal to b, is the correct option. So option A, a equal to b, is the correct option. Now question number eight. Which part is this, that the sum of any two whole numbers is always a whole number? This clear property. We know sum of any two whole numbers is a whole number. This is closed property. Whole numbers are closed under addition, multiplication. This is known as the closed property of addition or multiplication of whole number. So the sum of any two whole numbers is always a whole number. This is property. So option B is the correct option. Now question number nine. Compare and fill in the blanks. Seven hundred ninety-five multiplied with nine hundred ninety-nine plus seven hundred ninety-five dash eight hundred eighty-seven multiplied with ten plus four hundred sixty-one minus three hundred sixty-one multiplied with eight eight seven zero. Left-hand side value will be seven hundred ninety-five multiplied with this nine hundred ninety-nine plus seven hundred ninety-five plus seven hundred ninety-five multiplied with one. And this is 795 multiplied with 1000, which is 7 lakh 95 thousand. And this right hand side value will be 8870 plus 461 minus 361 multiplied with 8870, which is 8870 this one so 8870 multiplied with 1 minus 361 plus 461 which is 8870 multiplied with minus 360 360 plus 461 Which is eight eight seven zero multiplied with one six minus six zero four minus three one. Now it is more than this number seven lakh ninety five thousand will be less than this number. So the this is less than symbol. So option B that is less than symbol will be replaced in this blanks. So seven hundred ninety five multiplied with nine 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 plus seven hundred ninety five is less than. Eight hundred eighty-seven multiplied with ten plus four hundred sixty-one minus three hundred sixty-one multiplied with eight eight seven zero. So option B, that is less than symbol, will be the correct option. Now question number ten. Which of the following is not true? Option A, seven plus eight plus nine is equal to seven plus eight plus nine. This is true. This is associative property. This is true. Second option B. Seven multiplied with eight multiplied with nine is equal to seven multiplied with eight multiplied with nine. This is associative property of multiplication. Associative property of whole number in multiplication. So this is also true. Associative property of multiplication for whole number. Now option C. Seven plus eight multiplied with nine is equal to seven plus eight. Multiplied with seven plus nine. This is false. And 
डी ऑप्शन डी सेवन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ एट प्लस नाइन इज सेवेन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ एट एंड सेवेन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नाइन सो दिस इज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मल्टीप्लिकेशन ओवर एडिशन दिस इज ट्रू सो ऑप्शन सी इज नॉट ट्रू दिस इज फॉल्स सो ऑप्शन सी इज नॉट ट्रू दिस इज फॉल्स सेवेन प्लस एट मल्टीप्लाइड विथ नाइन इज इक्वल टू सेवेन प्लस एट मल्टीप्लाइड विथ सेवेन प्लस नाइन दिस इज फॉल्स दिस इज नॉट ट्रू सो ऑप्शन सी इज नॉट ट्रू If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel then please subscribe my YouTube channel and if you have any doubt then please write in comment section and I will reply keep learning keep watching and please subscribe my YouTube channel thank you, thank you.